hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is about how i do calligraphy most of the people use brush pens for doing calligraphy but as i do not have them so i use so i use cut markers for doing calligraphy this is a cut marker its nib is like the nib of these markers are not were not cut markers i made all of these cut by myself and i am also going to tell you guys how to make a marker cut in you know the upcoming minutes in this video i am really sorry for the lightning i do not think so that i have a fault with the lightning i think there is some fault with the camera I will surely check check that out. Check that out. So sorry. Also, I have a sore throat. So bear that too. One more thing. I really write. I think I write English really, you know, really well. but when it comes to speaking speaking i really cannot speak english in one go i have to stop a lot i have to take some pause i have to pause myself and you know stop myself because i'm not really used to speaking english a lot as most of the people here do not speak english at all so please bear that too and i am sure and i also hope that i will get better at this and my upcoming videos will have you know better english than this and also sorry for saying you know a lot i know that you guys cannot see you know you guys cannot understand what i am doing and how i am writing using these markers i will do some close ups i have some close ups in the upcoming in this video in the upcoming minutes so make sure to watch this video till the end this is a marker and it is not a cut marker i am going to make this one cut so first of all we will need a blade this blade is not a new one it is an old one i mostly use this one to cut the nibs of my markers so first of all you will have to cut it horizontally from one side and then from the other side as you guys can see i really do not know how to explain it really well but i think maybe you guys can understand a lot a little bit
and after you have you know cut it horizontally from both sides then you will have to make a you know diagonal or vertical cut in the nib like it is done in the highlighters you know the the right side of the tip of highlighter which makes broad line you will have to also you know cut the nib in that way that it will make a broad line I know that most of you people cannot understand it because the camera cannot show it really clearly so I will surely do a video in which I will only tell how to cut a marker for doing calligraphy so now our marker is done and we can do calligraphy with it Yay. sorry for the non stability of the camera because I was unable to figure out how to set the camera for making a close up of the calligraphy so here you guys can see that I am using the thin tip of the marker you know thin side of the tip to do thin lines for for making thin lines and then the broad side for making broad lines so uh, when you are doing an upstroke you will have to you will have to use the thin thin uh, thin side of the nib and when you are doing a downstroke you will have to use this side of the nib which is broad as you guys can see first of all the thin side and then the broad side then again the thin side and again the broad side so basically while doing calligraphy using cut markers you will have to rotate the marker a lot or as you cannot do calligraphy with it so i hope that you guys can understand you should do a little bit of practice like this in this way you will you know i am really sorry for using juno a lot in this way you will be able to figure out how to rotate the marker so if you guys are interested in learning how to do calligraphy using cut markers then i will surely do some more videos related related to this topic and also these markers are so cheap i you know one marker is for 6 rupees rupees is the currency of pakistan and it is not even the fourth part of a dollar so you can easily afford it And if we compare brush markers with these markers, they are expensive. So you can easily afford markers for doing calligraphy. You know, marker, markers like this. So thank you so much for giving me your precious time. Thank you so much for watching. And I think that you would have liked this video. 
and if you do and if you want to see more videos related to how i do calligraphy using cut markers then please let me know in the comment section below and also make sure to follow me on instagram the link is in the description and bye i will see you guys in my next video